Washington and Tokyo have not sent offers to be founding members of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, or AIIB. With a total number of founding members to be finalized at 57, the United States and Japan seem to be holding out on the China proposed bank. But U.S. President Barack Obama Tuesday pushed back against perceptions that his administration opposes the bank. So let me be very clear and dispel this notion that we were opposed or are opposed to other countries participating in the Asia Infrastructure Bank. That is simply not true. What we have said and what we said to all the other countries involved is exactly what Prime Minister Abe said, which is, if we're going to have a multilateral lending institution, then you have to have some guidelines by which it's going to operate. Visiting Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said that he saw eye to eye with China on the tremendous needs for infrastructure financing in Asia. Echoing Abe, Obama said China's investment for improving Asian infrastructure could be good for regional and global economy. There are speculations that Japan's refusal to join the AIIB is to show the U.S. that it is a reliable ally, even though the new institution will fill a major gap in Asian infrastructure needs. Political figures in the business community in Japan are lobbying to join the AIIB. As for Obama, the bigger prize would be the successful negotiation with Japan on the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, or TPP, which excludes China. However, it is still unclear whether Japan and the U.S. will work together or go separate ways on the TPP and AIIB. Questions will be answered by the end of June this year, when either the U.S. and Japan will reach an agreement on the TPP, or both, or only Japan, will join the AIIB.